Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome to the channel. So today is the fourth day of Mega Movie Week and also the fourth day where I will be recommending a great film in 4K, HDR or Dolby Vision to show off that amazing display of yours. So today's episode is uh, going to be a bit of a quick one with all this going on with my missus being in hospital. A bit short for time today so I'm just going to uh, crack on. So, today's recommendation is Alien. Now, you can pick this up today for the bargain price of £3.99. And resolution-wise, it is 4K and HDR. Um, so, this is going to look great on the QLED and the OLED. Bear in mind with this film, it was made in 1979. So, it's not going to stack up against, you know, the latest and greatest movies. But even so, in all fairness, I think they've done a cracking job, um, you know, converting this to 4K and HDR. I think it uh, does wonders to the film. And yeah, I would highly recommend it. So the first standout moment on this film is at roughly the 1 minute and 11 mark. And we see one of the characters going into the air shafts looking for the alien. And he's got a bright torch and a flamethrower. So we get this uh, brilliant black uh, levels around the side here. And then you get the brilliance of... Let me just turn that back on. The brilliance of the torch and the flamethrower in that uh, real deep black. Um, I was pleasantly surprised how well the QLED did handle this. There was a little bit of blooming, um, but generally it was um, pretty well handled. But I will say the OLED did do a better job with this scene. This scene goes on for a little while, so I recommend watching it all the way through. But it's good, you know, when he's swinging the torch around and all that. You've got the air vents shutting up and all that. And yeah, the air vents shutting up and it just looks really, really good. Like I say, with the contrast in uh, peak brightness and the dark levels. Next standout moment in this film starts at roughly the one hour and 37 mark. And this is where we see Sigourney Weaver um, trying to abandon the ship. And again, it's uh, a really good part due to the fact that you've got um, bright strobes going on that down the corridors that she's walking along. And again, the uh, real good dark levels, uh, really good sort of play on the light in this part is. And uh, suits both the OLED and the QLED in their different ways when you've got those strobes going off. Obviously, uh, on the QLED, you know, that suits the brightness. Um, but then the OLED does do a better job in this overall scene that goes on for quite a bit. I mean, I'd say I'd watch it from this part all the way to the end where she escapes in the lifeboat. And when she is going up and down the the, uh, the corridors and that... There is a bit of blooming with the QLED and I would say the OLED does do a better job overall. So there you have it then guys. If you enjoyed that video today, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, then why not? So hit that subscribe button and uh, don't miss out on all the action. So anyway, thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.